I think it's important for people to see this, and I hope that they're going to be seeing it 100 years from now. Those are the words of legendary NASA engineer Glenn Lunny talking several years ago about the 1969 moon landing. Lunny, an old Forge native, was an on-duty flight director during that historic event. Less than a year later, he played a major role in Apollo 13's Houston, we have a problem, crisis. His opportunity to shape, you know, where we are in human spaceflight and where we are as a country and where we are as a human race in terms of, of looking at space, you know, to be one of those original groups, to be the fourth flight director, to be on console when we were trying to get, you know, the crew home in Apollo 13 after the, the issues, you know, to be around when we landed on the moon. I mean, those first things, just, you know, the, the force of personality and and grit that it took to, to do anything the first time. Lunny passed away Friday at the age of 84. He had worked for NASA since its inception in 1958 and would later serve as manager of the space shuttle program. He left the agency in 1985, leaving an incredible mark on aeronautics history. Where engineering meets the, the actual people who have to make it all work, and you know that's operations, right? Where you you figure out how to get it done with the crew you have, the spacecraft you have, the team on the ground, and the flight director is really in charge of of making all of that work. Holly Ridings is NASA's chief flight director. Less than 100 people in the history of human spaceflight have held the prestigious title, including Lunny. So we were really reliant on them to tell us, you know, kind of what to look for in terms of of technical challenges and and also really just the teamwork and the and the motivation that it that it takes to do something that monumental. Riding says she's proud to follow in Lenny's footsteps as he was a mentor both in and out of mission control. He was the most down to earth person you'd ever meet. If somebody didn't tell you who he was, you would never know. It. Joe Glenn, Lenny's first cousin, lives in northeastern Pennsylvania. He remembers the early days of Lunny's career. He, they showed him a picture of what would be the Mercury space capsule and asked if he'd want to go down and help work on something like that. And he said it was the easiest career decision he ever had made. Lunny may be physically gone, but his out-of-this-world legacy will live on forever. We have a responsibility to Mr. Lunny to, to carry on and to do a good job. And I walk in my office every day and see his portrait and think about it. Reporting in Wilkes-Barre, Madonna Mantione, 2822 Eyewitness News.